Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Minecraft Story Mode. So, it looks like the admin figured out we were here, but who knows? Let's see what's going to happen next. Oh, crud. What's the move here, Jesse? Maybe you're confused, but this is my office. Hang on, let me try and reason with him. Uh, hello? Jesse? It's over, admin. We're here to... Excuse me, excuse me, we? What? Where are they? Where'd they go? Oh, I am so upset that you're back. That wannabe ninja Ivor told me you were still in the Sunshine Institute. Hearing that made me feel great. This? This makes me feel... Ugh, bad. Come on, who are you talking to? That dumb prison of yours couldn't hold me. Oh, you smug, arrogant, insignificant. What, pray tell, are you hoping to accomplish by challenging me? I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm just a touch more powerful than you. I know. That's why I'm not here to fight you. I want to talk this over. Jesse, a uh, Jesse. Ugh, talking it out? What's the point in that? That's what losers do. Real people, awesome people, settle their differences with... with... combat, dueling, build-offs. Sounds like that's the perfect thing for us to be doing then. Loser. Did you... Really? Seriously? I'm having a hard day too, you know! <sighs> well, you know what? It's just as well you're back. Because being Jesse is the worst! Oh yes! Yes, I said it! I hate being you! Your, your people, your friends, they're so needy, so clingy! I have to listen to their stupid voices day after day after day, just asking for things. I, mean, I, I thought being Jesse meant that people would do what I wanted to do. No one ever asks what I want. Yeah, that's not how being a leader works. That's just selfish. <sighs> it's what it's terribly disappointing is what it is. It's just... But it was fun at first. I'd show them some super amazing display of my awesome powers. They'd laugh. I'd laugh. But soon they were just asking me to do that all the time. <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny? You've made me see something. I mean, it's starting to feel like maybe I should just leave being Jesse to you. You know? <laughs> the, the genuine article. What's your angle here? This is a trick, right? Nope. No tricks, no angles, no games. Just good old Romeo telling it like it is. <sighs> well, this has all been terribly enlightening, and I, I think we've all learned some great lessons here that I will totally remember for next time. Next time? Yeah, the, the next world I build after I bedrock over yours. Oh, I'm going to get it totally right with that one. No! A whole new set of people. A whole new world. Oh, I'll be a great leader. A great friend next time around. I should thank you for all these, these wonderful little lessons you've helped me to learn. Now hang on a second, Romeo. We can still be friends. You don't have to bedrock over anything. Yeah? You, you really think so? Yes! Mm. Nah. Bedrocking time. Oh well. <laughs> Toodles! Oh, this doesn't seem good. Oh, you guys are okay. Yeah. He just blipped us back to the hallways again. Such a... Whew. Such a jerk. Stop this. 
How are we gonna stop this? We need to take his powers away. Find the terminal space. The roof. That's where the admin keeps his portal to the terminal thing. Go! Come on! We need to get to that portal before the bedrock closes up. Here. Yeah. Is that the clock from the admin's tower? Yes. <clears throat> I mean, uh, I uh, found the Colossus. The trip down memory lane is nice and all, but how do we find the primary terminal thingy? There is so much stuff in here. Hashtag potato 451! It was, uh... It was a good thought, but... Uh... Password protocol initiated. It's him! Oh. It's just more of his stupid recordings. You've selected password protocol. Oh, it's like a automatic assistant or something. Welcome to Terminal Space. Well, shall we? So... Wait, he has this whole assistant thing set up, but only he ever comes here? The automated personal assistant system was developed to aid the mighty admin in menial tasks and help his friends navigate the terminal space. Man, so when he first made all this, he was still hoping his friends would come here too. Kinda makes me feel bad for him, actually. to begin a new program. I... That was... all over my head. Password, password. Password. That must be the word of passage. Hashtag potato451. Exactly right. It's empty? Waiting for material request. I mean, it must be talking about the potato, right? Sounds right to me. Uh, potato? Please? Acquiring potatoes! Items dispensed. Thank you! Wait, two potatoes? Yeah, a normal one and a poisoned one. Which one do we use? I mean, the word of passage didn't say anything about poison. 
but it did have that weird hashtag thingy. That might mean something? Oh, I don't think that symbol ever actually means anything. Hmm. Gotta figure out which one is correct. I hope this is right. I still need to enter the rest of the word of passage. I don't know if this is right or not till I do. Sounds like progress, right? Pirate party protocol initiated. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm guessing that's not quite right. Agreed. Sorry, parrots. Thud or a bad thud? It's Fred? Zara, hi. If you're seeing this recording, well, I guess the worst has happened. And you just put the word of passage into the primary terminal. I wish the terminal could just take away Romeo's admin powers. It'd be easier that way. But making this gauntlet was the best I could do. Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet. It's got the power to make Romeo normal again. It might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? Then good luck, Sara. You're... I think you might need it. Well, here goes nothing. What do you think you're doing? What's happening? We're here to stop you, Romeo, once and for all. I told you, your world's done. No take backs. Jesse, hurry. this with a little change of scenery the, the sea temple kalu kale jesse remember when we first met oh that was back when i thought we could still be friends huh figures <laughs> this temple this challenge was my first gift to you. Now, it's going to be where I bury you. <gasps> Running out of platform, Jesse. Uh -huh. 
are over, admin. Give it up. Oh, I am going to... Uh, you don't... Don't touch me! Touch me! Touch me! Petra? <laughs> Aren't you happy to see me? Our friendship's gone on a little rocky on this adventure, hasn't it? Little... Worn thing? I wonder who did that? I'm not listening to you, admin. No? That's a shame. Here I thought it would be a nice way of working through some things. Ah! 
not as damn. Wait, please, please, stop. Don't take all my powers away. Without them, I don't know what I'd do. You, you can't take that from me. You abused your powers, Romeo. Time you paid for everything you've done. Don't you judge me! You don't get to judge me! Give me back that gauntlet! That's the cause of all this! Uh, let's go! Huh, jerk? Get away from me! You have to go and make everything so difficult. Everyone likes you, and you're nothing. Hey, we're not the ones trying to rule the world. What? No, no, I'm not. I just, I just wanted people to. People to is held together by my powers. No more powers. No more terminal zone. <laughs> We're doomed. We're gonna get buried if we don't get out of here pronto. What about him? What about him? He's not our problem anymore. But look at him. He'll never make it out of here on his own. Oh, she's right. Just... just leave me. My powers are the cause of all this in the first place. I deserve to stay here and pay for the mess I made. I can't believe that, that this is what it took for me to realize. Oh, I've been just so stupid, so blind. You should never have had that kind of power in the first place. Look at where it got you. Yeah. Yeah, and it'll all be over soon. Jesse, now's the time. We gotta go. Go on, leave me. I deserve to stay in this oblivion. Goodbye, Romeo. The lava gets to that form before we do, we'll be stuck here forever. Let's move!
Almost there. Everyone keep moving. Forever. Let's move. Yeah, and not a minute too soon. Oh my gosh! It's not to following me, right? Right? Nah, I think you're in the clear, Slim. Hey, nice work. Save the world again, huh? Doesn't that ever get old? Why, yes, thank you for noticing. Thought we'd fit in a light bit of world saving before afternoon pie time. Happy to see you all in one piece, too. And what about the admin? Did, uh... Did he not make it? He's still inside. The terminal, I mean. Yeah, Jesse left him there. Whoa, like... Trapped. Forever. Don't you think that's a little harsh? I mean, forever is a long time. Yeah. As many people as the admin has thrown into his prisons, it seems fitting that he gets a little prison time of his own. I get that, I do, but... Man, still can't help but feel a little bad. Well, I'm just glad that all of you are okay. And I guess... I guess this is all over? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. What do you guys say we head home? I say, way ahead of you, friend. <laughs> Me too. Man, I cannot wait to put on a shirt again. All right, all right, all right. So is it a happy little ending? Looks like it. Need some water after that one, man. <sighs> Jesse, I am approaching you from this direction and am coming to speak with you. No ninja trickery, hijinks, or tomfoolery here. Both my actions and my intentions are crystal clear. Huh. 
After all the times you've snuck up on me recently, I appreciate that. Precisely my intention! My days of sneaking up on people are behind me. So, no more ninja Ivor then? Ha! Huh. No, no. I decided it was time to stop running around in my pajamas and start trying to fix a few messes. Starting with trying to heal the rift between my old friends. Ellie will be easy. Just need to stop by Redstonia. Last I heard, Gabriel was doing the wandering warrior thing. Yeah, take it from me. It might be awkward, but I swear it'll be worth it. Good to know. It won't be the first time I've created an awkward situation. <laughs> well, I suppose it's time for me to go. This has been fun, though, hasn't it? Jesse! Jesse, hey! What's up, Radar? I was just saying goodbye to... Guess ninja habits die hard. I, uh... Hope you don't mind, but uh, I've kind of been taking charge of the beautification project. I thought, why not at least make it look intentional? Really stepping it up to leader mode, if I do say so myself. And it's been stressful, but also fun. You've definitely been stepping it up. I'm really proud of you. Oh, wow. This is the best day. Whoa! Hey, Luna. Anyway, uh, so with Champion City gone, I was going to make Luna a new llama house and get her set up here in Beacon Town while I help out up there. But, uh, before I did, I thought I'd uh, double check and see if you'd already been planning on, you know, uh, watching out for her. Seeing, you know, that she likes you so much and all. If you've already built her a llama house when I haven't been around, I, I, I just wouldn't want to double up. I can tell you mean a lot to each other in your own weird ways. I wouldn't want to come between that. Yes, yes, that's true. I really am sorry for how I acted, Luna. How I treated you. And I hope that if you'll stay with me, you'll let me prove that I can be better. Oh, Luna, darling. I can't tell you how much this means. Oh. I do want to sincerely thank you, Jesse, for everything. You saw me at my worst, and you still thought I was worth saving. That, well, that makes me want to try to be better at being my best. Actually, I thought <laughs> we should have yeah, left her behind. Yeah, you kind of were the worst. But just... You might say I was the best at it. What was that about Stella being the worst? Hey! Stella and I were just talking about what a crazy road it's been. Yeah, no kidding. Yes, well, we need to be running. Oh, and thank you again for everything. Now, you got everything you need, all packed and double-checked? Yes, Jack. This is very, you know, bittersweet for me, you know. Goodbyes are no good. <sighs> that we have, Nermi. So, I won't say it this time. <laughs> Not to people that I will see again. <laughs> you got it. Come on, walk me to the gate. So, you're leaving, apparently? For how long? Honestly, probably a while. But it's good this time. I'm doing it for me. I'm trying to, like, grow or whatever. Anyway, I'm about to say goodbye to everyone, and I... Ah! Come here. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Promise oh, broken. Jeez, oh, it'll be okay. So Petra's heading off into the Great Unknown, huh? <laughs> I figured. Definitely sounds exciting. Could start a new town. I bet Petra would extend the invite. You could go, too. I appreciate that, but... I think it's time I settled down here. I just got the ocelots back together. 
Thought maybe I'd work on a new book. Hey, you guys are missing out on prime group hug action. Ah, no air. Actually dying. You don't think this is like the last time we'll all be together, do you? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, if Petra's leaving... Well, I mean, until the world needs saving again. That always seems to act as a nice reunion. Hopefully... Hopefully not too soon, though. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna get out of here before I... <laughs> too late. Bye, guys. Be safe out there, okay? The safest. And when you finish that book of yours, I better have a great part in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I know back in Admin's cabin, you said you'd always be waiting in Beacon Town. But the invite's still open if you want it. No pressure. Wait, you're leaving? Oh, you're killing me. Oh, no, I can't decide. Oh, geez, wrong keys. Stay be. Oh, I can't decide, fam. Oh, God, this, this is actually tearing me apart. Yeah, I think Petra and I are gonna hit the road for a while. <gasps> Sounds pretty awesome, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean it does, but, but without you here, who will run Beacon Town? Things are peaceful now, but danger could still strike at any time. We should let the people of Beacon Town decide. Right on. I'm confident I can earn their trust. Hey, remember, you're an invaluable member of this place. Everyone's going to miss you, you know? And I'm gonna miss them too, but if anyone ever really needs me, I'll be around. You messed up on the animation there a little bit. The tree line was really weird. Alright, well, the game was perfect up until then. Zero out of ten, unplayable. You and 49 decided to no matter what. So a little bit less. You and 49 trusted radar. You, uh, you and encouraged to take his chance to be his own asshole. I'm in the minority of both of those two. I didn't want I I did not agree to this. You and fifty shows are that there was hope in the world says fifty percent didn't. You in the minority gave in the more and left him in the void. Good. Again in the minority. You and fifty five led with symphony and protected your friends no matter what at all cost. Okay, well didn't everyone do that? What advice did you give Jack? Uh Okay, more people said be himself. 50-50. Okay, so that was complete 50-50. Most people tried to reason. And the only 48 left him behind. And then, did you remain... 
Okay, so most people decided to go with Petra. Okay, and I think my webcam moved, so if you don't mind, I'm just gonna, you know, move it. So, okay. Yeah, that last decision really, really killed me, but... I don't know. In my judgment, there are hundreds of people who could run a town, but there's only one person that Petra cared about as much. Therefore, I would say it's probably more useful to go with Petra. So, all episodes are done. One, two, three, four, five. Season passes. Okay, so, is there season three? Okay, I was like, I don't, I don't know, I don't even know if they announced the season three yet, but. Alright, guys, well, that is actually the end of the series. It's done. That was the last episode of Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. Now, usually at the end of these, I would wrap it up with kind of like the summary of the game, what I thought about it. And I know in the last one, I spent like a good 10 15 minutes kind of talking about it. I'm going to make this one real short because I don't think there's much to talk about and I don't think you guys care. Essentially, is the game worth it? Yes. I, I don't want to say yes and no, but I mean, if you're interested, in my opinion, it's a good story. It's not a terrible story. It's not like it's not a masterpiece. I mean, it's a Minecraft storytelling game. Like, eh, it. Um, overall, the game's a bit boring, obviously, because all you do is press left, right, Q, E, up, down. Dare, dare I forget up, down. So it's not like a thrilling thing but it, the story is good it in the end there did make me feel some emotions so that's pretty good right feeling emotions it, it shows some quality of a game so is it worth the money depends if you've got money to spare this is pretty much what i said with the last one if you've got money to spare i i would buy it you know play it if, if you're tight on cash you can only have 30 bucks left don't waste your don't waste your money. There's a lot of free games and obviously just a lot of good games out there. This one isn't needed. If anything, maybe play season one. If you really like season one, play season two. But if you play the first episode of season one, the one you get for free and you don't like it, I wouldn't bother. Uh, but personally, I enjoyed the game. I I felt some emotion at the end there, so I liked it. Um, not something I'll forget about, that's for sure. But guys, I'm just going to leave it off here. No reason to ramble. Guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as it was on the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless. And goodbye.